Hello guys, welcome back to the domain tracer and this video will solve the problem of index of slash. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can solve this problem. Actually, this is not a problem. If you see such a kind of a screen after purchase a web hosting and update a name server, it means your web hosting account is totally been a fresh or you can say a new. In this case, you have to upload a sub HTML files or PHP files. So let me tell you how you can able to do that. Okay, watch this video. In this video, I'm going to show you some additional informations like how to install WordPress, FTP account, email accounts and all. Everything you will get in a very short period of time. So watch this video. Before that, please subscribe to this channel to get videos on your request. Here, first login into your domain dresser account and from services, click on my services. Open a service. Just scroll down and from the right side, you will find the login to cPanel option. Okay, so here the basic idea is you have to upload some files onto the server. So how you can able to upload the process is extremely simple. Just go to the file manager and look for the folder called as a public underscore HTML. Please make sure whatever you will upload on this particular directory, it will directly show onto your website. So in this case, if you upload an index.html or index.php file, it will directly show the data of index file. So I will tell you how you can able to do that. Instead of manually update, you wanted to install a WordPress. In this case, we do have already created a video. Just go to the search.domainracer.com and enter WordPress install. Here it is a video. If you watch this video, you will get the step by step guide how to install WordPress. Sometimes people wanted to upload a file using FTP. So in this case, enter here only FTP. Here it is your video. By this video, you can able to upload your data with the help of FTP. Now come to the point, go back to the file manager. And here, if you wanted to upload a data, you have to click on public underscore HTML first and then click on upload option. For the demonstration purpose, I had created a file called as index.html and index.php. First see what happen if you upload index.html file. Before that, I will just make a copy of this and paste here and rename this. I rename this to something like India. Okay. Now for the demonstration purpose, I will upload this file here. Just drag and drop. Okay. So file has uploaded successfully. It is giving you a green bar. Now refresh this. You can see that our india.html file has been uploaded here. Now, similarly, we will do the upload of this. So in this case, we have uploaded index.html file. Just refresh it. You can able to see that directly index.html file has been ran. So in this case, we have getting a message that index welcome to index.html file. Now we will test for a PHP one index.php. Now refresh it. You can see that if your cPanel or your public underscore HTML has a two different indexed files that HTML and PHP, it will give us a priority to PHP and then later on HTML. So in this case, we had shown you how you can able to upload your files onto the server and you can able to remove this error. Press the bell icon on YouTube app and never miss another update. 